heart of the old Confederacy, they're tearing down the statue of Robert E. Lee. I say it's about damn time. For all you unreconstructed Confederates out there, let me just say this. The war is over. You lost. And all things considered, you got off pretty easy. Get over it. Hi, Jim Walsh Online, commentaries on the issues of the day. Your comments invited or click the like or don't like button below. Do tell your friends, if you like what you hear, subscribe and be sure and ring that bell for future notifications. All right. The uh, Richmond, is it the Richmond Times Dispatch? Well, anyway, uh, Virginia's governor, Ralph Northam, announced Thursday the removal of a statue of Confederate General Robert E. Lee from Richmond's famous Monument Avenue. Yeah. It's about time they did this. It has everything to do with the issue that we've been struggling with for the last week or so here, the, the race relations thing. You wonder why so many people of color are pissed off at all you good white Christian folk? Well, and aside from the, the thing with George Floyd, uh, here's a pretty good place to start. A statue honoring the man who led the army to fight the war to save slavery. I think I, you know, I'm a Caucasian, but I think I can kind of understand why somebody might be a little bit upset over this, especially if their family was involved. Let's just say they were got, they got the short end of the deal with this uh, peculiar institution that we used to have in this country known as slavery. Yeah, I, I think I can understand that to an extent. Uh, the statue, which sits on state property, will move to storage while the governor's administration works with the community to determine its future. Now, please don't insult my intelligence by telling me this is about preserving history. You unreconstructed Confederates are very selective about the, the history that you want to preserve. And I say that having seen how some of you get so squirmy when you turn on CNN or even the Fox network and you uh, once again have to look at that video from last week of uh, George Floyd and the policeman. Apparently, some history is more preservation worthy than other history. Thank you, George Orwell. And don't tell me it's about moving on either. Well, you know, it's been a hundred and some years. We got to move on and put it in perspective. Hey, you're the guys who won't let Jane Fonda off the hook after that stupid thing she did with the Viet Cong 50 years ago for which she did apologize at least once that I know of. But no, you won't let her off the hook. That was unforgivable. But when it comes to a guy who took up arms against the United States of America and led an army in the field with the, spe with the specified goal of wiping out overthrowing our constitutional system in order to preserve the systematic enslavement of human beings, white supremacy and all that. When it comes to that guy, oh, we're going to let bygones be bygones. You know, right. Look, I understand Robert Edward Lee was a complicated figure of history, very complicated. There was more than one side to the man. He was very much a tragic figure who fought a war that he 
didn't necessarily believe in. He had his own reasons for doing it. I understand that. And I understand that he did do things after the war, honorable things. He ran that school in Virginia and he pledged allegiance to the United States and in doing so encouraged a lot of Confederates to do the same and helped in healing the country and all that. Yes, that's all true. It's all well and good. But here's the bottom line. He lost. He lost the war. And he was, to use a time-worn cliche, he was on the losing side of history. It's time, really, to move on in that sense. So please, spare me the South will rise again crap. We're supposed to be one nation, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Now you notice, by the way, I didn't say under God, but we'll get into that some other time. Your comments, as always, welcomed and appreciated.